goodness, you scare me. Uh, well, I didn't expect you to see me, so you scared me too. I wasn't sneaking up on you. I was just observing you. Yeah, observing. That's a good word for you. Well, the, the difference is that observing you sounds much less creepy. Ah, I know, you're right. Sorry. I just couldn't help it. I mean, look at you. What do you mean, what do I mean? You're you. I mean, you're a nymph. You're a nymph, right? Uh, yeah. I am a fail. But you're a nymph. As in an actual real life water nymph. Yeah, I know I'm a fairy, but you're a nymph. Yes, but you're a nymph. No, of course I haven't seen a nymph before. I thought you live under the water and only came to the surface during winter, when fairies like me are invernating. I didn't even know the lake of this forest had nymphs. Let alone that I ever see one in person. Huh? No, we live almost everywhere that plants can grow. And this forest has a ton of healthy flora. Have you really never seen any fairies? Really? you never see any of us? There's a whole kingdom of us around in this forest. At least several thousands of us. Maybe even tens of thousands. We're everywhere. Oh! Really? There's even more names? Oh, that's so cool. I was wanting to meet a nymph. Well, if I always wanted to meet a nymph, and you're always wanting to meet a fairy, then I think we are in a pretty good position right now. So, let's meet each other. Here, let me see next to you. What's your name? Oh, that's such a pretty name. It sounds so magical. I bet that there's lots of spells out there that have your name in them. Do you have any enchanters in your bloodline? It's not flattering. I'm telling the truth. I don't need a spell casting magic since I'm a failure. But I never know sorcerers and magics to know a spell when I hear one. And your name is definitely, most certainly, a spell. Specifically, love spell. What a beauty glamour, given how pretty you are. Oh my goodness, you're blushing, right? Isn't that what it means when your cheeks get all bright blue like that? That's so cute. <laughs> your ears are even turning blue. <laughs> no, I'm not making fun of you. I'm not, I promise. I swear. I just giggle when I'm happy. Well, I'm happy because it made you blush, of course. Like I say, you're incredibly pretty, and I love pretty girls a lot. So making a pretty girl like you blush makes me happy. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the compliment, but... Oh, oh... There's no need to flirt me so much. It's awfully sweet of you, but I promise that you don't need to such sweet things to me. <laughs> yes, I'm blushing, obviously. A very, very pretty nymph is calling me beautiful. 
I think I have every right to blush. Huh? Oh, you don't know. Since all fairies are made of sunlight and stardust, we're all very glowy, especially when we blush. Hey, don't call it cute. That just make me blush even more. Well, we can both be blushing messes. Then all of this is a complete mess. <laughs> Looks like we're both the glee types, huh? And the easily frustrated types too. You know, as much as I'm interested in memes in general, I think I'm even more interested in you, specifically. I really want to get to know you more. We should... Oh, oh that's them calling for me. I need to go help tend to the miracles. I promise I would. I need to go for now. But I want to spend more time with you. Oh. Really? You... You do? <laughs> How wonderful. Then I'll be able to see you again in the future, right? Will I see you soon? Fantastic. <laughs> I'm so excited, uh, but who will I find you again? Is there some way that I can find you without having to go on the water? Because of my wings, I'm not able to see. They'll be too heavy when they're wet. But I still want to keep in touch with you. There has to be a way, right? There is? Oh, that's perfect. What is it? Do we need to find a relic or cast a charm or something? Uh, well, what are you doing? You're getting so close to me. Um, what was that? Did you just use a spell on me? So that means that I'll be able to hear you sing both on land and underwater? So then I'll... We'll know where you are? That's cool! Does that mean I'll be able to hear you ever, anywhere? Uh, so long as I'm within the forest. Well, I won't be able to hear you when I need to travel for the spring bloom. But I still be able to hear you whenever I'm here. That's wonderful! I, I can't wait to hear you singing. I bet you sound beautiful. Just don't trick me. I know that you're so wonderful. I just know it. And nope, not listening. I believe it when I hear it. I'll see you later. Oh, wait. I mean that I'll hear you later. Uh, bye, lovely. Oh, 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 wait. Before I go, here. It's one of the two leaves I've been growing. I want you to have it, so whenever you look at it, you think of me. I wasn't sure if I wanted to try growing one since you live in the water and all. So I found this one. I put up petrification spell and put in this cute little jar. This way you can pet it whenever you want and I'll be okay. Do, do you like it? <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. I was really hoping you would. Oh, and one more thing. Mm. There. Couldn't live without stealing a kiss. Now you really have something to remember me by. Bye, beautiful. I'll hear from you later. 